Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Steven Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Borealis Dracar. This board features Borealis's Blizzard Camber, which is a directional cam rocker. So you got more rocker in the nose, camber through the midsection, then a tiny amount of rocker in the tail. That rocker in the nose is going to give you better float in pow as well as ease of entry into turns. The camber through the midsection is going to give you load, snap, and drive. And then that little rocker in the tail is going to help you exit turns a little bit easier as well as get up on the tail in fresh pow. This board is only available in a 156. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was sunny bluebird, zero wind, colder temps, there was fresh snow off the groomed runs and perfect corduroy on the groomed runs with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my Rome black label bindings. Clearly directional flex in this board. So you have a softer nose that stiffens up before the front insert pack, progressively stiffening back up to the tail with a little bit of torsional flex and not an overabundance, just a little bit, but in my opinion, the perfect amount. Overall, this board has somewhere around a middle of the road flex. Now, you do get chatter out in the nose, but it never resonates back underfoot. Underfoot, this board is super stable. Like, you will notice that it's very stable, but it is still lively. A lot of that is just due to the construction of this board. There is a fuck ton of snap in this board. I mean, you load that camber profile, you're boosting. You wanna get up, on, over, through, whatever, anything in your path, you gotta pop with it, this board pops. You do have to load that camber section, but it's a very easy camber section to load. You don't really feel like you're putting all your weight into it to get that rebound out of it. So when you do load it up, you get a lot of pop. You wanna be a little more laid back, you still get a lot of pop. Basically, there's a lot of pop in this board. Butterbility, no, yeah. Wheelies on the tail, that's about it. This board is okay at carving. It's really at home in fresh snow. I mean, it's one of those boards that you know, it rolls from edge to edge easily enough and it'll lock in and you got the added contact points underfoot so you're gonna have a little bit more grip. But if you're trying to lay trenches, it has limitations. It's one of those boards that when you do carve with it, you'll figure out what its limitations are and that's it. It truthfully is at home in fresh snow. It sucks because this thing would be amazing if it was just a little bit better at carving in my opinion, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. Who's this board for? The Pow Charging Free Ride Guy. I mean, look at it. Seriously, look at it. That's, that's a Pow board. Comparable boards, the Rosnal Sashimi, the Arbor Clovis, the Signal Wow. In fresh snow, this board is an absolute blast. It slashes so well, it plows through chunder, it floats well, that tip just cuts through fresh snow. It's absolutely amazing in powder, but it lacks on groomers when you have to carve with it. That's like the one downside for this board. And there's other boards in this category that carve better. But overall, this is like, it's a solid option if you're looking for something more pow focused and less carving focused, which is unfortunate because like this, this board, I really enjoyed this board. This has been my review of the Borealis Dracar. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really wanna support us and you just really wanna see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.